Did you know there's an app for controlling an octopus? Now I can watch Birdie no matter what I'm doing. It'll even send you texts whenever anything is off. This is gonna solve all my problems. I even found unexpected guests like Baby Molly's and my sump and a dead fish. For your saltwater tank, there are three main parameters that you wanna monitor. Your salinity, which is the salt content of your water, your temperature, and your pH. And you wanna make sure those are as stable as possible. Now, as fresh water evaporates from your saltwater tank, you have to replace it. Otherwise, the water gets too unsalty. That didn't make sense. The ATO is controlled by this float valve, which floats and keeps the water level right here. The minute that this starts to drop like that, this hose adds fresh water back into the sump until the float valve is back up. But as you can see, the bucket is gray. I can't see through it. It has a lid, so I kind of have to open it to check if, yep, it needs water right now. I rarely ever check it or remember to check it. And usually my first indication that it doesn't have any water is I start to hear the pump kind of blowing air bubbles, which is very bad for the pump. The next most important thing is the temperature of your water. And this depends a lot on what you're keeping. My octopuses are subtropical, which means they like colder water temperatures. I aim for the lower 60s somewhere between 63 and 65 degrees. Now, if you have a tropical species, you are going to need warmer water. If your water is too cold, you can use a heater to heat up the water. And if it is too hot, you use a chiller to, to make the water colder. <laughs> now, the most complicated of all of these parameters to monitor is your pH. The pH of salt water has to be at eight. If it is too low, meaning your water is too acidic, you have to fix that problem. So if you have a lot of people living in your house and they're breathing like all humans do, and there's not enough fresh air to kind of replace that carbon dioxide, it'll affect the pH of your tank. Now, one solution is you can walk over to a window, open it right up and get fresh air in, and that'll affect the pH of your tank. Another thing you can do is add something like a protein skimmer. This also <laughs> sucks oxygen out from the air and puts it into the salt water, which, uh, sorry, I just noticed the mollies had babies. The mollies had babies in salt water, but you see, it? you see them darting around? Mollies are a freshwater fish that don't usually have babies in salt water. Now see this dead fish up here? It's very horrible that it died but this actually produces ammonia as it decays, which is also very bad for your saltwater tank. I have this for many other reasons, especially the fact that this is a filter and it cleans the water and octopuses are very messy eaters. If those two things don't work, you could also take the line from your protein skimmer and run it outside. So it's getting direct fresh air and that usually solves the problem. This is the Apex from Neptune Systems, and I got it from Bulk Reef Supply. Huge shout out to them. And this is essentially a brain for your saltwater tank. And it gives you alarms anytime anything is off or temperature's too high, the pH is off. I already tried to set it up once. And this probably wasn't a really good idea. So this is a controller board and this is from a company called Adaptive Reef. And this 100% makes it so much more simple to set this up. It has a face plate for everything to kind of screw into. It hides the wires very nicely in the back. And I 100% recommend to get one of these before trying to set one of these things up, unless you're starting a tank from scratch. That's a different story and you can plan for it. The Neptune Systems Apex Pro gives you the most control and monitoring at your fingertips. It comes with 13 individually controlled outlets that are specifically designed to be used in aquariums. A3 Apex Pro monitors temperature, ORP, and pH, it offers leak detection, and it also monitors water level depth. The adaptive reef panel is specifically designed for the apex and it makes the installation seamless. 
the best thing is that it's an app on your phone. It gives you a little dashboard. And through this app, I've actually noticed and watched my temperature creep up over the past couple of days. And it turns out that my chiller actually went to heaven. It died, it's not working anymore. So I need to replace that. Now, if you're interested in what we're gonna do with the baby mollies or wanna see how we customize the tank, like, subscribe, and follow for more videos.